piece four is called The Wise Owl Gazes Backward. I love the name of this piece. This piece is associated with activating and regulating the two major energy channels in the body. The yang channel, which goes up the back, is called the governor channel. And the yin channel, which goes down the back, the front rather, is called the conception channel or sometimes the conception vessel. Now we connect these two energy channels up by placing the tongue at the roof of the mouth, as we do with all of our Qigong movements, because one channel from the back, the governor, connects at the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue, which leads into the conception channel, so that we create this circularity, this circulating energy when we place the tongue there and work with this particular movement. Let me walk you through this movement again. Your feet are firmly planted. Remember the rooting, the rooting that is so important here, as if your feet have roots underneath them. Remember bending all the joints, all relaxed, swimming in air, and also shoulders relaxed, shoulders relaxed. So with this movement, what we're going to do here is going to inhale and continue inhale pressing down as if on an imaginary table. As we press down, we elongate our spine, continue to inhale. We turn our hands out like so. And then as we look over our shoulder, we can even turn our eyes, exercising our eyes. We exhale as we turn over to look over our shoulder for three, maybe 10 seconds. And then continuing to exhale, we come in. Inhale, elongate spine as you're continuing to inhale, and then continuing to inhale as you get to look over your shoulder. Exhale and release several seconds, continuing to exhale, return back to your inhale, continuing to inhale, looking over shoulder, exhale. Inhale, elongate spine, continuing to inhale, looking over your shoulder, exhale. Continuing to exhale, bring your arms back to center, inhale, and so on. Now what I'll do is go over the movements without any verbal commentary and you can follow along a couple times. Now the name of this movement is the wise owl gazes backward. Remember that the owl is the animal that can see into the darkness. And so I sometimes, uh, when I'm working with folks, I like to guide them to think about what is it that you're not looking at? Because the owl has the ability to see into darkness, to see in the shadows. So this is a way to add a psychological or ritual dimension to this particular movement. To have the awareness that this movement, through opening up your energy centers, can expand your field of vision, literally and metaphorically, but also help you to become more aware, more mindful, that there is more to become aware of than what we are normally so narrowly focused on as we live our life on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's just one way to play with this movement, to increase your self-awareness and understanding. Thank you.